so because of the fact that I'm not on an actual diet, I was like, I can treat myself to dinner. I don't care. Because, you know, like I said, I was just kind of like replacing a shake with a meal. But if I eat this, I won't really have to eat much tonight because I have uh, shakes and some other snacks at home. And as you guys know, yesterday when I was at Walmart, I bought some shakes that, um, well, you saw me drinking one earlier. Those shakes really do kind of fill you up. Of course, this morning I only had like half of one, so it didn't fill me up, but it was pretty filling. It's like yogurt. It tastes just like yogurt, but as a shake form, so it's really good. But yeah, as I was telling you guys earlier, I, I have to motivate myself. I have to be the one to be like, come on, Charlie, get up. Let's go work out. Let's go do something to change your diet a little bit. Because obviously, having relying on other people to motivate you or to get you up and, and going is not always the best option. So I was like, fine, I'll just... I'll motivate myself. I know I can do it. I've done it in the past. So I'm going to do it again. It's the only way to go. Um, besides, like, our schedules don't really work out anyway, so it's best for me just to do it on my own. So, whatever. Um, I definitely, for, like, the tired feeling and the dizziness and all that, I need to go get my blood checked. So, you know, some tests done on my blood or whatever so that I can uh, figure out what the heck is wrong with me because it's been like this, like, at one point it was all about the high blood pressure, which it probably still is, and of course eating out like this doesn't help, but um, it could be something totally different, you know? So the only way is to go get it tested, go get my blood tested and see what's, what's going on with me, see why I feel like this every day because I shouldn't feel like this at all. Every time, it's, it only happens when I eat something and it sucks. It doesn't matter what it is. I'm always, I always feel like this. But, um, yeah, gotta live life, gotta do what you can. So, that's why I'm out here right now having my lunch. And, um, I was actually talking to Mother earlier and, uh, with the journey to Elantra. Like I said, I am so focused on this. I'm, I'm really going to be doing this. But I think it would be best if I did actually finance through my bank because of the fact that I'm, you know, with Federal Credit Union. I think that it's going to be easier to finance a car through the bank because apparently, I guess, the bank would wind up buying the car from the actual car company. And then um, once they buy the car, I'll be paying my bank, which would probably be cheaper prices even more cheaper monthly payments and I think it would just be easier to do it through the bank um, rather than trying to go to the actual car company and doing it I think it'd be a lot easier to do it this way so we're gonna see what happens all you gotta do I guess is uh, go to the bank fill an application and then it starts from there so um, see what happens but like I said I gotta make that thousand dollars first because yeah, I fill out the application, at least if I didn't have to put any money down, because you never know, I might not have to put any money down if I go through the bank. If I don't have to put any money back, there's a thousand dollars to spend towards car payments or towards a car present or something like that. So, definitely want to go through that route. We'll see what happens. If I'm able to do it, I'll do it. If not, then we'll find another way to do it, but we'll figure it out. Alright, you guys, I'm still waiting. It's already four minutes in, but they're usually really good at getting the order out quick and fast, so stay tuned, you guys. I'll be back.